Welcome to the Life in a Bookshelf podcast with Beck Mills. Here you will find convos, connection and random musings all about this 30-something life. We talk lifelong learning, we talk books reading, mini book reviews, writing all the way through to home and wellness hacks and making a positive impact with our time here on earth in our own lives our families and out in our wider community. I really hope you enjoy today's episode. Hey, hey, welcome in sharing a little snippet, a juicy bite-sized piece of writing today that is part of the day challenge, writing challenge that I'm doing. And today is day six and I've called this 51 things that make me happy. So I hope you enjoy. One, hot showers. Two, warm bubble baths. Three, swimming in the ocean. Four, swimming in a pool. Five, lifting heavy weights. Six, reading a book or multiple books at the same time. Seven, learning something new every single day. Eight, laughing with old friends. Nine, warm hugs. Ten, hot chocolate. Eleven, tickle games with the kids. Twelve, fresh sheets. 13, the smell of rain. 14, the sound of rain. 15, chocolate. 16, doing something creative. 17, gifts. 18, sunrises. 19, photographing nature. 20, cuddles with my puppy. 21, completing a challenging workout. 22, playing netball. 23, cooking for others, 24, baking for others, 25, making birthday cakes for my boys, 26, roses, 27, fresh flowers, 28, walking on the beach, 29, watching my boys play with their friends, 30, exploring new places with my love, 31, live music and bands, 32, music in general, 33, Christmas morning with the kids, 34, Easter morning with the kids, 35, doing puzzles, 36, finding treasures at the thrift shop, 37, nice smelling house, 38, my my homemade perfumes, <laughs> 39, colourful artwork, 40, neck and back massages, 41, foot massages, 42, pedicures, 43, colourful toenails, 44, fresh hairstyle, 45, seeing photo memories of the kids, 46, sewing to create something, 47, dancing, 48, warm dunas and rugs in winter, 49, being of service, 50, talking with the elderly, 51, do-it-yourself projects and creations. So I would love to hear what's one thing that makes you super, super happy and can you do that? today can you make five minutes or so to do it um this was a really fun bit of writing and you know at first I think I put down like 15 I think I put down like 15 points <laughs> to work with and just started filling it in and somehow I got to 51 and I've already thought of a couple of things as I was reading that out <laughs> that I'm going to add to it and I was inspired by this by something a blog that I was reading I think it must have been about oh I think the the other day I was looking at 30 day challenges to try for the new year and I saw this blog about a happy list and I was like wow that's such a cool idea and I'm going to keep this on my phone notes I use like google keep Um, so I'm going to keep it there and you know if the day has gone to shit (laughs) and the day is just not going the way it's planned or I'm just feeling a bit blah I'm going to get out my happy list pick something off there make a bit of time to do it this is the plan and why not? You know, we all, we all could use that little injection of things that make us happy. But actually writing this out made me realize how many of these things I already do try and fit in and prioritize. So um, that was really cool. And then other things I'm like, Whoa, it's been way too long since I had done some of those things. 
Um, so it was a really good project. It was a really good writing prompt. And yeah, I would love to hear what's one thing that makes you really, really happy. It could be so simple. So simple. Like I love looking at the colourful artwork that we have in the house. It just makes me feel happy. Like seriously, it just like puts me in another mood and I can just walk into my lounge room and see it. So, so, so simple. Um, yeah, hit me up on Instagram. You can DM me over there at Life and a Bookshelf podcast, all one word. Oh, and I always put it in the show notes so you can find it there as well. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear from you. And short and sweet today, I'm going to leave it at five minutes. And I hope you have an amazing day. You absolutely deserve it. And I hope you get one of those things in today that makes you really happy, whether it takes five minutes or whether you can push it out and have something a little bit longer as well. Um, especially at this time of year, towards the end of the year, everyone is feeling a little stretched and there can be something so simple that we can do for ourselves just to ah, ground us and make us smile. So wishing you a really good day and I'll catch you soon. Bye. So that's all for today. Make sure you click that follow button on Spotify or, or Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. I thank you so much for taking the time to listen in today. Appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. You absolutely deserve it. Talk soon.